Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. Today I'm going to test out and review this Televis Ellipse Mix Outdoor TV Antenna. Give me a second to put this down here. Before I get into the antenna, if you are seeing me for the first time, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been an over-the-air antenna enthusiast since I was five years old, and I'm constantly updating my YouTube channel with new antenna reviews, reception tips, updates on ATSC 3.0, and everything that has to do with cutting the cord by antenna. So if you want to be free from cable forever, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Most of you probably have not heard of the antenna company Televis. In fact, I was one of them. And for the longest time, I was under the impression that this was just another Chinese company like Ping Bing Ding or One by One. These companies that essentially just make a whole bunch of junk antennas and hype them up with a whole bunch of keywords and stuff like that. Televis is actually a very large antenna company based out of Spain that's been around since the 1950s, just like other well-respected names like Channel Master, RCA, and WineGuard. The company is vertically integrated, meaning that they handle the design, testing, manufacturing, quality control, and distribution of the antennas without having to rely on an outside source. In addition to Televis being one of the largest antenna companies in the world, they're also involved in the manufacturing of television transmitters and the launch of ATSC 3.0. Some of you are probably saying, Tyler, why are you going in so much detail about this company none of us have ever heard of? I'm going into detail about it because I got the wrong impression of them, and I've also told a few people that contacted me about their antennas that I thought this company really isn't anything. They probably sound like another Boost Waves or Ping Bing Ding to me. This company has some backing to them. Getting back to this antenna, the design of it seems pretty decent, both with VHF and UHF capability. Plenty of elements and reflectors to help with some weak signals. And on top of that, the build quality of this antenna is actually pretty good. It has some weight to it, so like I'm holding it with one arm, but I can already feel I need to start like working out or something because I'm starting to get some strain over here. It has some weight to it. Like when I looked at it online, I'm thinking it's just another ping bing ding antenna that I'm gonna throw around and make fun of in all my videos. But it has some build to it and it seems pretty decent. The antenna has a built-in LTE filter and amplifier with output to two TV sets. Televis claims that the amplifier constantly checks and auto-adjusts the gain to get the best signal level output possible. As many of you probably know, I don't care what the company claims. I've seen companies claim 150 mile range, smart amplifiers, and a whole bunch of other hype keywords. I care about how the antenna performs on certain TV stations, the same location that I test out various other antennas. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to test out this antenna in the same location. I've tested out various other outdoor antennas to see how it performs on both UHF and VHF TV stations about 45 miles away. Here's a list of the stations along with their RF channels and their signal strengths on the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. On the left side, you'll see the type of diffraction on the TV station. One edge means single edge diffraction or one ridge between me and the transmitter weakening the signal. Two edge means two edge diffraction or two ridges weakening the signal between me and the transmitter. LOS means line of sight with virtually no obstructions in the way. You can also see the results of various other outdoor antenna models by checking out my other videos. The signal strength on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 50, was a little bit higher with this antenna compared to the last two smaller antennas I tested out. Probably only about 4 or 5% higher, but at least it has a higher signal. The same holds true for WYOU, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13. The signal strength on a Televis antenna was about 5 to 6% higher compared to the last two antennas I tested out. The signal strength on WBRE, which broadcasts on VHF channel 11, was also higher with this antenna. In fact, it pretty much blew that ping bing ding antenna out of the park with about a 23% signal gain. The signal strength on Fox 56, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, was also higher on this antenna compared to the last two antennas I tested out. 
The signal strength on Fox 29's low powered repeater station was a tad bit higher with this antenna, only by like one or two percent, compared to the Channel Master Stealth antenna, and nothing with the Ping Bing Ding antenna. Finally, the signal strength on WNJB's low powered repeater station was significantly higher on this antenna, compared to the last two antennas I tested out. So as you can see, this antenna performed pretty well. It has more gain than a basic small directional antenna and added between 5 to 20% on the TV stations depending on the specific frequency. This antenna is going to work better than your average small directional antenna. That includes the Clearstream 2 Max, the RCA Compact Yagi, the GE Attic Pro, the Channel Master Stealth antenna, those are all basic small directional antennas. And if you have trouble picking up some stations with them, don't replace them with another small directional antenna. You're going to get similar results. Replace it with a slightly larger antenna. And the thing I like about this antenna is it performed well, but it's not a giant monster. I can actually hold it and show it in the video, unlike some other outdoor antennas that you probably wouldn't even see a third of in this video. It's not only the fact that this antenna performed pretty well that makes me give it the thumbs up, it's also built very well. Now, most antennas are not built as poorly as that piece of junk antenna I tell people not to buy, but they buy it anyway. But I'd say most antennas kind of have like an average build. They'll probably last, you know, like 10, 15, maybe 20 years, depending on the weather conditions. This antenna has a very good build to it, and it's got some weight to it. Not every antenna has that, but then again, not every antenna looks like this and falls apart within three months. If I had to simplify it and say who I'd recommend the Televis Ellipse Mix for, I would say it would be for someone who wants a decent antenna but they don't want a very large antenna on their roof. I'd say the Televis will work best within 60 miles of the broadcast towers with moderate to weak signals, but as long as the signals are not too weak. Now, you could probably end up getting TV stations up to 80, 90 miles away if you are in a very, very good location with this antenna. But on average, I would say stick to about 60 miles from the broadcast tower, and this antenna would suit you well. Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. Moving forward, I definitely group Televis with other reputable antenna companies such as Channel Master, RCA, WineGuard, and Antennas Direct. They just haven't made their footprint quite yet in the United States, but I'm thinking they will get there at some point because I really think their antennas are decent quality. They just haven't really promoted them as much as they should because most people recognize Channel Master, RCA, and WineGuard, and they think, what is this Televis company? And I was one of them, I'll be honest with you. There were some of you that asked about Televis antennas, I really didn't have good expectations of them, but I definitely changed my mind after trying them out. So thank you so much to those of you that requested I review the Televis antenna. If there are other antennas you'd like me to review, be sure to drop in the comments section about what antenna you would like me to try out. And also check out my other videos because I do commonly get requests of people saying, hey, you should try out this antenna and I already reviewed it. So if you wanna see more outdoor antenna reviews, make sure you check out my other videos. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you are not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, I attached a link in the description of this video to my email list if you would like to sign up there. As always, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.